Hello everybody, it's Max with Crypto Talk now. When it comes to quant, we have basically talked about it quite a few times in regards to it potentially becoming the first ever million dollar coin. And if anything, some of the massive partnerships they have and so on. But how about this for size? The Rockefellers. Yeah, you heard me right, especially if you've been following your history. The Rockefellers are investing into quant. How huge could that be? Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's brief Quant update. And as you can see right here, shout out, of course, to Quant Papa. And if anything, I'm going to go ahead and go full screen on this because I want to basically full screen it. But yeah, it's massive to say the least. Uh, that particular Rockefeller connection, uh, they are really something else, right? So let's go ahead and play this. It's about a minute, and then we'll come back for some more commentary, to say the least. Here we go. We're here, we're here for the long run. Um, we, we see the potential. Our customers see the potential. We have a lot of investors talking to us who see the potential of what we're doing. I mean, we have the guys from you know, the managing director, Rockefeller, on our board, uh, and there's other people at that level that are going to join as well. And so we're, we're taking this, um, you know, in, in, as a long-term thing, and we're taking this uh, at a global thing as well. Um, we, we have a lot of institutional investors on, on the business side that, that are meeting with us regularly because um, they really see the potential. Um, we've got the second largest VC in the world who, who wants to take a stake in, into the business. Uh, so they, they found out about us and they contacted us. It wasn't the other way around. Uh, so, so we're getting a lot of um, positive feedback from the community, especially with, with big institutional, uh, you know, investors like like these guys. We're here, we're here for the long run. Um, we we see the yeah, it's pretty impressive to say the least. Now, in regards to just that, you know, I'm gonna come back into this in just a moment. Actually, I'm not. Apologize. Um, I want to show you guys this, and it is in regards to the actual Rockefellers, right? So. You know, you heard the name, at least you should have by now. Um, and look at this. So this is straight from Reuters. All right, this was published back on September 9th, 2022. And if anything, look at what it says. So it says specifically Rockefeller Capital aims to double assets to 200 billion in three to five years. And oh, by the way, currently worth about uh, 90 billion. Now, of course, you know, think about this for a moment, right? We've pointed out things and you, I'm sure you've seen it as well and that is BlackRock right BlackRock is basically the world's largest asset custodian in the entire like well just that right the world's biggest one right there's world's biggest for the reason but Rockefeller definitely is you know they they get a worthy mention because for one the family's name so on and so forth so for them to want to go from 90 billion to three to or I should say to 200 billion in three to five years is huge. So for instance, it says right here, Rockefeller Capital Management is aiming to double its assets under management to about 200 billion in three to five years as it expands to new US cities and hires more wealth managers. Its chief executive officer said, now again, I get it. This is technically an old article back from September 9th, but it's still relative to the point I'm trying to make. As the point of this, hires more wealth managers. Now, why would somebody want to hire more wealth managers if they didn't understand the utility of what quant brings to the table? Yeah, these are people that do their own research as well, right? So, yeah, you can draw your own conclusion to that. But like it says right here, quote, we are looking to have a physical presence in most of the major wealth centers in the United States. And I get it, you know, quant isn't exactly... Um, U.S. focus, but you, you know you, you can get an idea of you know what Quant is able to do at scale that nobody else is, right? So um, it says Gregory Fleming told Reuters in an interview, business now spans 40 offices with over 90 billion under management, growing from three offices and 18 billion in assets, and of course in 2018. So there you have it. I thought it was pretty huge to hear the likes of, for instance, um, you know, for instance, what they bring to the table, right? Let's face it, Rockefeller. I mean, 
That is uh, a name that a lot of people are pretty familiar with, especially if you've been following your history, uh, to say the least. So, guys, I'm looking at the price of Quant. I'm saying to myself, I know there's some complaints about some people saying, well, it's going to drop down to, you know, this bear market and some of these recent dips. It's going to drop down to below 100 again and so on. Whatever the case be, the way I look at it is eventually we will be priced out of Quant. You heard other content creators basically tell you that as well. I'm on board with that particular statement. It just seems inevitable. Uh, just kind of like Bitcoin, right? Technically speaking, we're priced out of that unless you're a you know, a multi, multi, multi millionaire and so on. You can afford to buy a full Bitcoin and whatnot. But um, I think the days are numbered when, uh, you know, for us to get just that, a full quant. And so was more than glad to bring you this particular information. Come on, guys. The Rockefellers? Are you kidding me? So there you guys go. Brief update. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And by all means, everybody, thanks for watching. You all have a blessed day. And we'll see you on the next one.